Number 45. The lesser electric ray, some name I can't pronounce, maintains an incredible charge on its head and equal and a charge equal basically magnitude but opposite in sign on its tail. Sketch the equipotential lines. So let's assume that the head is, you know, very positive. I, I hope this is the head. Okay. And let's say that the tail is going to be very negative then. So we know that the electric field lines, right, they would point away, right? They'd kind of be emanating out like this, etc. And same thing from the tail, except they're going to be pointing now in. Right? They always point towards lower, basically, potential. And they always point towards the negative. If I had to sketch now an equipotential line, it would probably look something like, you know, it'd be a little hard to draw, but it looks something like this, where it goes in and then it comes out. You know, so, something along those lines. All right? And I could keep going, but why bother? But I don't know who... I don't know who's going to ask this particular question in class, but uh, yeah. So B, sketch the equipotentials when the ray is near a ship with a conducting surface. So it depends. It depends on the charge of the ship. It's going to change. Um, let's just pretend this is a charged ship here. And, uh, you know, if it's positive, what's going to happen is these these field lines, they start to deflect away, right? All, well, they don't cross, but they start to deflect away from one another. We've done problems like this in the past. What is the electric field line then look? What are the equipotentials? They're gonna look something like, you know, something crazy. You know, it's gonna be really hard to kind of draw here. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah. I, I'm actively gonna skip over C. I apologize, I just, I, <laughs> I cannot stand this section. Okay. Anyway, don't judge me on this one. Judge me for all the other problems I've done. Thank you.